So, when we last saw our hero, he was trying to get a stick. Negate. Because a stick. Negate. And because sticks are rare and scarce. Or running. We're just simply trying to figure out how the heck these things control, because controls are kind of miserable on this fighting part. You have to hold a button, press a button. Especially when you only have the fist, and you can only go so far. One of the biggest problems in this game is reach. It's called, hey, everybody else has a sword but me right now. Okay, so you have your stick. Oh, there's a stick. It's a wooden stick. Can I use it as a weapon? No. Excuse me, I took this before, but it somehow didn't save it, so we're saving it now. So we don't forget to have the stick. Again. Because we completely screwed up last time. In theory, we can go out the front gate. I may have even shown that before. But in practice, you die if you go out the front gate. Because there are two guys waiting there trying to ambush you. And they're made for swords and not for punching. Crazy. Somebody who has a sword! Okay. Allow me to run away from somebody who has a sword. That was a slap in the wrong direction. There you go. I want to have to That's it? Yes. Wait. That's because he's made for punching and kicking. There's only a few enemies that are that fragile that you can kick them twice and they die. I don't... Well, maybe it was made out of oak. I think if you examine it, it's made out of oak, but whatever. <laughs> Don't worry. That means the stick's broken, though, because you broke the stick on the lock. Now you no longer have a stick. And you cannot use it to open that chest that you were trying to open before with your foot. So now we get to enjoy stairs! Now let's see how, how, how much of a drunk you look like L walking up the stairs! I think it's uh, skips from regular show trying to like match up those stairs. Makes me think that like the stairs go up and down, not just up. They really pardon those graphics though. Like they, they make sure to squeeze every last leaf they put into that shot. Yeah, they send them. I mean, like this is the this is kind of the style of how it used to that they wanted to make it look like it was better graphics than it actually was. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Practically every game that has pre-rendered anything. Uh, yeah. Who is this? Not the guy. Was... The hat, that is not how you swing a sword, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this guy was made for a sword. I, I'm, I'm going to regret this decision later. Yeah. I gotta walk in place some more. Jeez. Oh, there's a map. You can take a look at the map. Uh, it, wow, it's a picture. Some stuff. Make a map of the village. Oh, so this guy's job was just to be up here and work all the map. Good job! Hmm, jeez. Not sure I actually put it in his mouth. Is this the bottle? And the bread. Cheese? We'll just pretend. Ah, close enough, they thought. Watching him. I 
think it's like one step and I'm at the bottom. All right. Free coffee, mind you. Okay, now we found a road. Oh, this game is non-stop excitement. Oh. Animated from the animated show's cutscene because YouTube has a bit of an issue with um copyrights. Yeah, apparently somebody owns those clips still or something. And... Wow, this is like Lord of the Rings style walking here. Yeah, this is another. You can do it, Frodo. And if we can figure out which way is forward. So I'm not really familiar with the animated series, but I don't recall there being any cheese in the movies. No, it, it's. Yeah, it is. Okay. Terrible. There we go. For borderline, because I think they're using actual uh, sound from the. Um, I think they might be actually using the audio from the show, but I'm going to leave it in for the moment. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Why would they use that really crappy 3D CG rather than just the footage from the cartoon? I don't really know. Bad design choices here. I'm going to use some footage from the cartoon, but I, like I said, I have to cut it out. Oh, I know. Um, in this particular instance, they appear to have wanted to do their own work, even though it looks really bad. Like, they didn't even take the time to make that look better than what the game usually does put out. Like, the only difference is maybe the animation is slightly more something. Now we have to go find the sword because... You... Oh, it's just right there! Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah it... It, 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 like, wanders around this. Now I got a sword. Yay. Now I can reach the guys somewhat better. We're going to say that... Now, 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 this is only works if I can figure out how to, to work it again. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Save. So now we have a sword. And now we're not at a complete disadvantage to everybody else because we're not trying to punch people as yeah. armor. Walking back down the stairs. I might actually. Um, Actually, do like a fun in this game because most of this is just walking. I really want to edit together all these walking scenes and <laughs> so mm. test out that sword. Yeah, it's um, the best move I think is the thrust, but it's really difficult to figure out how to do that properly. You've got all the time in the world. Like the thrust actually has the longest reach of all the all the moves, which makes it better. But you have to do like forward and B or something, and kind of sort of. But yeah, the like forward and B also can sometimes do another move. Hmm. I think I think they're able to use the six button control, but I think it work better, but. But still, I think really. Wow. Now we're going down a road. Look at me. I have a sword now. Oh, they changed the camera inexplicably. Wow. So all the action is on the far left side of the screen. Congratulations. Have you played the in the dark yet? Jeez. Thrust again! Yeah, thrust! Why is it not thrusting? Thrust! There you go. Thrust 
look, if you say thrust one more time, we're gonna have to like make this. There like, we go. Right. That's. Yeah. Three, two, the, there, the, there's a, like an overhead or overhead. Ah, uh, 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 never mind. Uh, well, that's um. So we're just gonna make that long walk again. And maybe I'll learn how to fast. Wait, wait, I think I saved it. Not, yeah, I saved it right before I yanked to those guys, actually. The key to all these games is to save as often as possible. As long as you look like you're not going to die. die. Yeah, you really show that ground there. Left. Uh. What? So the animator's knowledge of fighting style didn't come from a, a book or any sort of fencing class. It came from other video games. Probably. So now we get to go through the village again. Because now we probably should go out the front door so that we can actually beat up the people who are trying to ambush us. Now that we have a sword, we can probably do that a little easier. Probably. Only one way to find out. By following these... <laughs> oh, wait. Also, it'll probably save the game a little better if we're all taking. We don't have to keep doing this over and over again. So you're going to go up against a tank with a sword. Yes. I admire your logic. Hey, who's this guy? These guys are trying to ambush me. How? Drag me with your crooked bat. Let me uh, run around and try to not be completely getting squished into the sides and stunlocked to death. So crap. Or, yeah, this is probably going to be a load. Not too this is the key to the key to getting out of the stun lock is running, basically. <laughs> you get to run fast enough, you can might be able to stun lock them. Where are you? In the different directions and trying to point me to the right direction, and then they're not paying attention. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Oh, we just run back into the. Not if I can. Oh, there we go. I'm in the village. Okay. <laughs> she is drinking whatever that is. Mystery fluid and battle cheese. And the biggest of friends. Out of it, you get the whole entire meal out of it somehow. 
another franchise might call them this wafer. Now we'll get back out there with my nearly full health and see if we can do a better job. <laughs> All right, trip on each other a little longer. One of you will eventually get here and I'll slap you. Hopefully. Ugh. Come on. There we go. It's two to drop on like a fly. Ah, it's a bottle of mystery flu again. Oh, these things are really good for me, right? Drinking whatever you'll find lying about. That's Patrol. A That's a strategy I use in my day-to-day -day life. Patrol outside the gate. Let no one pass. Ah, they failed their job. It almost looks like there should be a tower I should be able to get into there, but uh, the is a staircase. Well, well case up there. So how does anybody ever get there? I don't know. Well, reflections. Look, it's Clyde's water wheel. This is a completely useless item. Nobody you, can ever use anything anywhere. You can't use it here in the water. The only thing you can do it for is if uh, you wanted to view a, a cutscene we can't see because we need to cut it out anyway. If you examine it, it will be a cutscene. There's an animated series where you see the little, little piece of wood twirling about on the stream and then you get cut loose and go down the stream, and then a completely unrelated uh, uh, message thereafter. Don't know why, but apparently that water reel reminds you of that scene. It's integral to the story somehow. Not in smile. Is there anything to see this that scene. Yeah, idea to have water in something that's pre-rendered. It just really looks bad. And from a story standpoint, you could be walking through more meadows right here. See, here's a tank. The only guy I'm heading next to the tank. He's like, he, he apparently is the last guy left here. So if we kill him, the tank doesn't do anything. That seems slightly anachronistic. You know, walking out of a Thatcher village with a sword and a bread, come fight a guy in front of a tank. Tank won't do anything at all. It just sits there. Doesn't even have. Doesn't even shoot at you. There's, prior, there's apparently nobody in there. This guy's just standing outside the tank, going like, "Hey, look, there's somebody coming at me with a sword." I don't think this tank needs to be used at all because it'll fully beat them up, which apparently is happening. Come on. If I were going to defend a tank, I would use a gun. Or maybe a tank. <laughs> Just a thought. I mean... Well, didn't you just say something about saving often or something? Yeah, but then I lied. We're not actually going to save often. We're going to save often enough to be less, slightly annoying, but not too annoying. Practice what you preach, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Holy crap, that guy's going crazy. <laughs> he just keeps going like, slash, 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 slash. Man, air next to you is like dead. Get close to that. I'm running into... All these really bad angles of trying to fight people with. And... Where are you guys? I can't. Where are you? Get in front of my sword, guys. I'll put a sword in front of you. You might as well just run into it. Hey. I think this is going to be another load. Uh... Oh. Wait. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's another load. What a load! Uh, we're going to the village police. Well, there you go. Every time you load the game, you have to re re equip your sword. Because apparently, I can't remember that much. Uh, it probably would have been an additional one bite for that save game, but 
That was too much. They were at, they were at the limit. Couldn't add a bite. Like, what weapon are you using? We have a choice of, like, three different weapons. That's two bites. Well, two bits. So, yeah. Two bits. It's one bite. One bite. It would be, like, zero, two, four. That's, and, like, you could probably find a way to get some extra data out of that if you really wanted to. Yeah, it's a bit packing. Listen to the lovely sounds of distant birds and the whooshing of a sword. It could have used some sort of sound engineering on this to make it slightly less boring. Hey, look, this guy's going crazy on me again. Look, that. You can't break. Oh. Oh, because the bottle. Oh, it is standing around. Uh, like, like half the time, I feel like I'm just slashing the air even when I hit. <laughs> like, why am I only using one hand on this sword? At all times, even. But, like, you think you use both hands for certain things, like overhand swings or something. In real life, I'm guessing once. Well, this isn't real life. Stop trying to apply your logic to the game. I did an organ shit upon it, then I. Made a little digital mess on the screen or something. Now we're gonna have to run out of things to say about this. <laughs> I could never run out of things to say about this terrible, terrible game. Not that bad, but. Like, this particular scene, I mean. Like this, this, this scene where it's like there's two guys and you have okay. to beat them up. So the, the game itself isn't bad. The engine has some pretty obvious shortfalls, like and some of the direction and art choices, some of the sound choices. If I do this properly, I have like the one guy stabbing the way of the other guy, and then I can just the do... Oh, look! Oh, we're, we're gonna do something, I guess. Like, oh, it was just like right there, and it just suddenly went in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I tripped over it, and then, like, lug, 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 lug. I think it's every time I go to the bar. <laughs> Started drinking Yay! again. There we go. Really success. And it wasn't completely a, a failure. I think... Yeah, most successes are complete failures. I think this is probably going to deserve a save at some point, but let's get the help up first. A man in a field of dead bodies. Bread! Eating some bread. Where's the bread go? I don't know. Just throw it away after we're done eating to... to... Let's see if we can figure out how to do the save thing again. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Okay. I wonder if that was necessary. Sweat on the road again. Moving the plot forward. What plot? Uh, sorry. You're just out here stabbing people. Wait. Did you just leave that gate? Did you turn? Okay. And blacked out for a second there. Yeah. And by blacked out, we needed to cut that out. That was the cartoon you described earlier. Yes. So you can imagine Poorly. Quentin McCloud is a young boy with a little rabbity thing getting questioned by Guitsy's face as to what his name is. Quentin, by the way.
I love how I have to keep using these bridges. Not really an other bridge. Oh, okay. We could have jumped that. Which is totally unnecessary. Oh, don't worry. We'll do enough jumping later. Tank guy just standing around. He just doesn't know how to use the tank, apparently, or something. Who's my fault? Machine gun. We'll discover that later. But this guy doesn't apparently know how to use it. No, this, this tank sits here. It's at the top. Is that a maple leaf on this side? Is that a Canadian tank? No, mm, it's just the sign that they have on all their uniforms and all their tanks and everything that they have. And it's not a maple leaf, it's a, like a heavy or something. It's, it's okay, the Canadians could be invading Scotland. I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, I watched the animated series. It's all over the place on whatever these green guys' names are again. I don't remember. So having not seen this famous cartoon series, do the people look like that in the cartoon? I mean, sort of. I think they have the, the red thing on their uniform, though. So They're kind of missing that a little bit. But I don't think they could afford enough. They couldn't afford that many textures on this, I guess. Oh, screen, orange and black. That's all we need. So, um, we're going to go to the next area. What about, what about the tank? Yeah, it just sits there. <laughs> yeah, YouTube might have some issues with these clips, too, because of that. I think that that guy's voice and I think it might have came from the clips of the shows, but maybe not. We'll just see. If so, we'll have to start cutting out everybody. So did he walk? Don't worry, we're gonna have to backtrack and walk back a little later. You want Remember, there's a chest back in the village that we weren't able to open. That's the most tedious thing you've ever said. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll go back for it later. Walk all the way back. Don't worry, that's not for a complete waste of time. That we could, it would be really awesome in theory, but actually, it's just a key for a door. So when they advertise like so many hours of gameplay, it's it's not the exciting gameplay, it's the tedious crap. <laughs> like I said, I might need to try to see if I could cut this out. See how, if I can tell people how to beat the game in five minutes. Don't worry. Everything else is just fluff. Wow. Oosh. Oosh. My fan makes that sound. <laughs> Whoosh. As it as it turns, you know. I think we throw this from this though somehow. Hey. Seems to me this was kind of environmental sound they had in this somewhere. I mean, <laughs> it didn't. I mean, it lacked the 3D, I guess, but... The uh, audio is coming through. It's fine. So, now we're going to just do the tedious task of just clearing people out of this area. And hopefully we don't die in the process, which will probably not not happen. Look, here's a guy. Howdy, stranger. I'm just gonna start stabbing you now. I don't know who you are, but you're gonna you're just gonna die. You look like countless other people I've stabbed. You look like somebody I don't like. All right, I beat him. Didn't eat his Wheaties this morning. 
going to cheat, cheat slightly a little later. Oh, stairs. These are a challenge. No, no, no it's the camera angle of the challenge. Uh, like up the stairs when I'm trying to go down the stairs. And... Yeah, th this is a place where you can't be right at the moment. It doesn't really sound like wind either. It's like someone's vacuuming the floor upstairs. Ooh. No, unfortunately, it's not really hard to tell what's actually an object on here because then you black expect to be an object. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's like that could be a thing. Like I thought that was, yeah, I thought that was like a piece of bread right there. They like randomly do stuff like that. It's like. I think I call it. I think I really want to call it Resident Evil Syndrome. <laughs> like that thing over there could be a object that's important, or it could just be a speck and dust in the um, frame. That it just looks a lot. That's a mighty skip down the stairs. At least his eyes look slightly detailed. Which you can't tell unless you're looking at his face almost directly. This is where we're going to have to jump. Hopefully. If I could, if I had found the wooden plank, I, this would be a little easier. But I generally, apparently just didn't intend to jump this anyway. Oh! Oh, nice. <laughs> Don't worry. I can breathe sand. I can breathe sand! Oh, no you can't. You did. Um, I found a piece of red! Yeah! Eat red! Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. This rarely died while trying to eat red. I have a really big hankering right now for bread that I found like four feet underground <laughs> in the desert. Don't worry, we're going to deal with sand. Lots and lots of sand. Oh, Indians like have bad teeth because of that same sort of desert bread situation. <laughs> we're going to not go up to that guy that we is uh, sitting out on the ledge that doesn't have anything useful for us for at the moment. So here's a homework assignment for uh, the folks at home, like, go to the store, buy some Wonder Bread, and bury it in the forest somewhere, because you never know when an adventurer is going to need some health. You know, I, I think they've actually kind of tried to just stop using the, um... I'm going to just take a dip in here and see if I can just grab the bread. I think there's also supposed to be a flower in here somewhere. Kind of random, just like throwing stuff in like pits of lava or quicksand traps. What does a flower do anyway? What's the cheat? Like I said before. All oh, right. The flower is the key to getting the best weapon in the game. Makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> we, just need, we just need to have. A, we need, just need to find a room that needs a little more color to it. And suddenly we'll have the best weapon in the game. Do, 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 do. So Wandering really? down the canyon. Hey, this guy's doing a little dance to your song. So we've officially changed gears here. It's no longer Lord of the Rings. It's more like Dune. Dune the game. Ah, oh, there we went thrusting, by the way. There we go. Savvy, savvy. Hey! I got a map of the canyons. Let's see if it's any. Uh, uh what? <laughs> um, I think maybe I need to examine it. It's very confusing as to whether or not you can actually okay. use a map because you actually are supposed to technically examine it. Well, wow, it's just about perfectly linear. Okay. Yeah, it just doesn't show you where the tank and the the. the um, 
snipers are at is the problem. <laughs> yes, there are snipers. We're going to love them later. I remember playing the map Badlands in Team Fortress Classic. Yeah, it's pretty much the same setup. So where's the tank at? Then? Uh, you know, near the respawn area. Nope. Pretty much smack dab in the middle. <laughs> Here. Oh, found a ball. Lug, lug, lug. I tripped over it again. These silly bottles keep going into my mouth. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> Gotta find a flower somewhere around here. Oh, there's the tank. Okie doke. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. And it will shoot you this time. Because there's somebody inside of it. And they're complete fat jerks. So you can't actually... You, like, I actually tried to see if I could get by the guy, and I actually managed to hit an invisible wall. Before. I'm oh. trying to get to that tank, because I wanted to take the tank out, all right? So you just let the tank sit there. That's, that's probably my biggest pet peeve in video games, is invisible walls. Oh, it's look, like we get to load again. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the, the least elegant solution to an obvious problem. Like, the problem is bad design. The solution is invisible wall. Well, this dollar game I got has ridiculous invisible walls in weird places. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Loading game. Wow. We're going back to the um, oh my village goodness. because oh. we need more health. And this is really the only way for us to get more health because otherwise we have to beat up people to get more health. And this guy, I just completely screwed up on the floor. So we're going to have to do this again. Can't you take that bridge with you? Nope. Oh. We're supposed to find a very, specifically a loose plank somewhere to get that, get that one bridge thing. And by fixed, I mean very horribly hard to balance on. Stab him in the legs. Because there is only one plank that you have to get to walk across instead of a bridge with no railings, and that you can fall down really quickly if you don't walk in a completely straight line, which it's impossible to walk out of a straight line here. Especially with the camera angles being how uh, unique. All right, I think I got him. I just He's sliced his legs off. Walk. Oh, you just jumped past him. There you go. Yay. I'm at green health. He's dead. He doesn't give me anything. He's a jerk. Amazing crotch shot right there. But we're going to save this here because this is going to be a lot better to have this much health rather than the, the red zone that we were doing before. Unfortunately, this game is a lot about resource conservation and stuff. So save the trees, people. That way you don't have red health. I really want to know where the... Whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm having trouble believing that the desert is within walking distance of the highlands. Well, you don't see a, a scale on that map, either. I didn't see any airports, either. Walking backwards for no reason. Trying to figure out why I can't get out of that menu. Hey, look, here's a friendly fellow who might help. Nope. Yeah, my face. This is not the I'm tourist. Hiding in the distance. This is not the tourist department that I wanted. Yeah, that's yeah. money off screens. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm winning, I think. Nope, no, 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 Oh, let's, uh, let's, let's back up a little. Maybe we can actually see what's going on. There we go. He's dead. 
<laughs> Does he have a thing? Give me cheese. Eat the cheese. Give me the game again. In different slots, just in case I need to try that over again. After a certain point, it does get a little difficult. Probably pretty proud of that bumpy wall that we got there. Yeah, well, it's just pretty rendered all the time anyway, so. Normal map. Huh? Certain things in pre rendered games are just like um, the, the computer graphics artists like tooting their own horns. Texture rocks, I think, is one of them. Fancy shadows, water, particle systems, those leaves. Because here the rocks look kind of crappy. Arts. Soundtrack brought to you by Hoover. What a game. It came from. And more walking. And another. Well, stabby, 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 yeah. Yeah, but he's like, the, it's actually halfway easy to see because this overhead angle is not half bad. You can actually figure out which direction you're pointed in. Since you're using tank controls, you have to know which direction you're pointing in to figure out which direction you need to point to. Yep. Yep. Save. Yet again. Thank God. No, you don't want to beat that guy up 20 times because I died constantly? No, there'll be plenty of other exact same guys to beat up. <laughs> Let me see if I can run into the tank again. I don't think this is the way I really needed to go, but whatever. Which direction am I pointed in? I can't tell because this guy, this is very bad angle for me. This is why we need the new weapon. This is why we need this slightly cheat because heck if I can tell which direction I'm actually in. Canyon Hunter order. Then they came against the enemies of the Mung Banana, whoever that guy is, the Mongoloid. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just beat that out later. <laughs> Mongolian? Right now. Oh, look, it looks like a flower. Find the flower! In the middle of the logical place? It's a small, pretty purple flower. You can't use it here. That's okay. How would you use it? <laughs> Why am I trying to delete something here? Uh, Let's try that again. I think they were trying to do save. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saving the game. Oh, really? Saving. Dang. Saving the game from destruction. Saving the game from its own developers. I mean, if they'd marketed this as a screensaver or something, I, I would have bought it. <laughs> Looking at the canyon walls all over again. Yeah, I guess that could have been a screensaver. Yeah. Oh. Technically, oh. anything that's like that could be a screen saver, though. Oh. 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 I like that one screen saver that I felt like I should be able to play it as a game, but it's not really a game. All it's doing is a stupid computer going around a maze. Oh my god, hold on. That is terrible simulation. Starfield, yeah. 
That one kind of feels like you should be flying through space. Yeah. Why is this not, not why is this why is this not a twenty six hundred style game? Fun fact: that is, uh, the Star Trek simulation is very similar to uh, an original Atari game. Now that you said that, but it's also similar to uh, Elite. For the uh, congratulations, we have found the snipers. For both classes, uh, I think I heard the snipers anyway. Yeah, there they are. You don't. You just run away. Bravely run away. It's uh, it, the trick is dodging and janking around because half the time they'll miss you if you do that, and they actually hit, need you to stand still long enough for them to shoot. And sometimes the rocks are in the, actually in the way, which actually makes some sense. Oh come on! Don't eat the cheese! Don't eat the egg! Damn it! I tripped over some cheese and started eating it. Red. Okay, but at least I managed to go avoid eating the bread accidentally. All right, here's the secret cave. Yeah, I missed the scene in uh, Saving Private Ryan where he's like, you know, like on a field, just like all this stuff going on, and like, who the guys? Can you hear them? Yes. Not geese. Chickens. No. All the chickens. This is a room that needs some color. See the gray color in the middle? Yeah. Although there's some color already here. Like, this is some weird guy. Here's a, another weird guy. Probably. Uh, another weird guy. There's the not I'm a boss. <laughs> Everybody seems to be almost dead or something. This guy doesn't. Yeah, okay, whatever. That guy too. Whatever. He's pretty cool. I don't know him. But yeah, we need to add a What the heck? <laughs> I'm, <not even> <laughs> I'm trying not to, but you know, it's like. I what? Just can't look <laughs> Alright, we have to add a little color to this room. And then we will get the best weapon in the world. And we need a cutscene for this too. Bad Gigi hand, putting my bad Gigi flower. I crack the Gigi beans. And now we get the rubber chicken! Oh! That's what that mess is. And uh, the, the pillar is now of color, which means that you can work yeah, cool. Warp through to any part of the game that you want to, but I'm not going to use it because it's too much cheat to read for the moment. And also, like, you're all part of the game you really want to work I might be able to use this room to get back to the village the one time you have to backtrack all the way to the village, but I have to would have to first figure out which door to go through. It's the problem. There's that slight problem of, you know, there's. It's really hard to tell where you're going with. Because all it is is this picture. It doesn't actually identify which section is what. So now we have a rubber chicken. The rubber chicken might be the coolest Easter egg ever. It is the best weapon in this game. Well, looking at the other weapons, it's not really surprising. All right. Let's see the sound effects. That guy just got chicken. So was there a rubber chicken in the uh, animated series? No. I don't think so, anyway. But the rubber, the secret of the rubber chicken's success is not the damage, although it has, I think it has more damage than the regular sword. It's the reach. And it actually has its own special moves. All, all hilariousness, there's a, it has its own special moves. Which I might detail later. But first, there's a bottle. Load, load. Saving the game. Yeah. With a rubber chicken. You're only. Rubber chicken, you're the one. Great. 
cosmic dark. Point. You can also parry with the rubber ticket. Watch, just punch in the cloud and plays with his chicken. Hey, guy. with my rubber chicken. Okay, that was a little bit should never do that again. I need an automated curl for rubber chicken. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did they have to do this in a game? <laughs> I think I think I think the animation is slightly stretchy, but it's still like Yeah, you know, like see how that like there's a, like the best move ever is to jump and spin about with a rubber chicken. I jump and spin. Jump and spin with a rubber chicken. You can't jump and spin with the sword. You can't jump and spin with your fist. It does seem more perfect to jump and spin with the sword though. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you want maximum thwack with a chicken, you would... <laughs> that is basically what happens. Is you get you get use this rubber chicken to thwack things. And... Awesome rotation. Wow. Your turn! Boink. Boink. <laughs> Everybody's a little dying. It's pretty, pretty remarkable on two strike kill kind of thing. Well, I think it's actually technically a two strike kill because they were, they were one guy, like, the one, they, they, they tend to be stunned by the time I do the second try. But then they're not stunned on the third try. And that's what kills them. I, I've never really been able to determine whether or not that, that hits one in their stun would really actually affect them, because I don't think I've ever seen them die due to hit when... I don't think I've managed to like, go around in a circle somehow. I was here. I see the sky lying on the ground. Taking a nap. Taking a nap in the sun. I think mean, Carnage is a pretty good like placeholder. Like I've been there. I've seen it this past. And we're back. And if the map was any much any actual use, so it'd probably just use to open up the map and go like, "Where am I?" But it doesn't tell you where you are. It just shows you a picture of the of the canyon. The canyon. Then you have to figure out where you are. Well, I walked past this rock. Oh, wait. Well, there was the sand. Oh, wait. There's sand everywhere. I appear to have been here before, too. Great. <laughs> uh, like wandering in the desert. Except in a canyon. On a horse with no name. And no horse. Hopefully not running into a tank. Hi, guys. I haven't been here before. There's somebody standing around trying to kill me. Hello, friend. Do you know where I am? Are you coming Two people. To the nearest gas station or bus stop? Give us bus stops, right? I'll take that no answer is no. I'm just following ten Telltale Games rules. You have the option of not responding. Gotcha. It's an actual answer. Option. It's legit. That's a real life, too. Like, my boss is like, hey, where's that stuff I need? Uh, Look, it's another guy. Well, I haven't been here either. This guy's never gonna help. I don't know the truth. This guy got killed at one shot. Yeah. <laughs> I thwacked one guy! That guy might have, might have broken the multivitamins or... This yeah. guy appears to be stuck in a corner. He's not even hiding in a corner. Like, he could have been if he's not on the camera angle. He's <laughs> trying to do something there, but it never got off the ground. It's just AI doing something strange by going like, Hey, I'm going to wander in this direction. Oh, wait. There's a wall here. I don't seem to figure out. I don't know what walls are. What the heck is a wall again? 
cleaning box. I know these guys are the actual Canadian pirates. Wow. <laughs> he had a key. It's a heavy key. He found the coming gate. Uh, no, I didn't want to open the gate. Oh. Okay. Without proper authorization. Oh, well, wow. let's, uh, let's, see, let's see if we can open the gate. Then. There's a not so much <laughs> what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, look, a bottle. Blug, 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 blug. These keep going in. I'm looking really good at it. <laughs> It tops you off a little. It didn't go all the way for too far. Yeah, mailbox. G open mailbox? No. No, you, you can't do that here. I have a feeling the key goes to the door. Well, it probably goes to some sort of gate. No, this door, actually. And now we have an unnecessary animation. Because apparently just opening the door wasn't enough. Look, in a game with this much excitement, opening that door was a pivotal moment, a real crowning achievement. All right, that guy. Pokey poke. I like how some of the guys don't have masks and I think they're more tougher than the other guys for some reason. Like I'm not a, I'm not a face I'm not a faceless grunt. I am tougher. And yet all the not faceless grunts look precisely the same. So they may as well be faceless grunts. Ah, uh, there we go with the bottle again. Here's a piece of bread. The character's head again. That's just a stereotype. Okay, um, somewhere around here there's a thing. I'm not sure what that thing is. I guess technology. Something like that. That is the sound of technology. Stuck. Stop uh, I was trying to load a puzzle. It's puzzle time. Okay. And my puzzle, uh, did you actually check out all the places that you should have? And Hit all the pieces of the puzzle that you really needed to hit this open, and have a good enough memory, or read it, wrote it down, or you captured it for your own playback. Might have done one of those things. Not yet. Okay. Oh. And all those places that we were skipping before. That's where we get the code from. So gotta go back. Oh. Start backtracking. Oh. Don't worry, it's just one backtrack all the way back. This is the easiest way to backtrack properly, because otherwise you'd have to backtrack a little, and then come back here, and then go forward, and then backtrack some more to get the thing that you actually need all the way in the village. So I might as well go back all the way back to the village at this point. We have to go back and go, yeah, let's check this stuff out first, but... We gotta make sure we have plenty of supplies, and those guys were kind enough to provide us a lot of bread and alcohol, or nameless mystery fluid number two. Anything back here? Starfish. Is it starfish? Oh, You just take a nap there. You know, what they need in this game are more condors. Condors? Yes. So you don't mean corridors? No. Circling condors. Oh. Cultures. Whatever. <laughs> we need a remake of this. It's a, we need an HD remake of this game. We wanted a 1080p. Somebody find all the original source code for rendering this scene and get it to make it 1080p. I... Is 
we have melons made of bacon here. Uh, we could we could change this. Change this for the better. I mean, they really capture the feeling of desolation, though. Uh, that's cool. It's also very convenient for the RAM space. Running almost nobody. The RAM space won't be filled up. We have to run by the sniper team again. Yeah, I think we just need to run by the sniper team. So we're gonna run by the cyber team, jump the jump the bridge that we completely ignored back there, and then grab a hand crank and do the hand crank through the other bridge or something, and hopefully run into enough pieces that we can actually figure out how to get the door open. Well, there's the tank. At this point, I'd like to point out that. We've lost all sense of Highlander by now. That mountain looks like a carrot cake. I'm going to see if there's anything over here. That looks like bacon. Okay, can you hear the tank? Yeah. Oop, oh. It takes out like freaking third of your health, one shot, too. <sighs> Cheese. And run. Cheese and run. Anything over else over here? Yeah. No, you just lost most of your health. I think it deserves a load. <laughs> it looked like a load. <laughs> a load of crap. <laughs> so there's apparently one random guy just sitting over there by a rock. Which is sort of technically a secret, but nobody cares because there's too much ink fire away. Gotta reload your game. It's the weapon. Actually, I think it might be one bite. Because <laughs> it technically is more than four weapons. Yeah, more than four weapons, technically. But only if you count each separate weapon as one weapon. There's only four weapon types. How about that? Loading. And now we get to go with the snipers again. And now we get to bob and weave a little bit again. And my bob and weave is me just looking like I'm drunk. Well, I'm around with you have to bring in on Mr. Floji, you know, it might be. Oh. Ah, uh, the stun locks. Good thing we have a lot of provisions by now. They're not really using a sniper rifle, they're just using low guns. When does this game take place? Uh, no time that we know of. There's like soldiers that have semi-futuristic looking technology but use weird technology like, I don't know, freaking air guns. <laughs> and swords. And swords. And tanks. And tanks. Don't forget the tanks. Oh, look, a ball found his way in my mouth again. I like tacky better. Keep attacking me. I can quit at any time I want. They keep attacking me! I just keep drinking them into self defense. Once <laughs> they're empty of fluid, they won't attack me again. Nope. I'm saving the world one bottle at a time. It's green. It's a green bottle. 
Or disintegrate all your trash. And now let's figure out where we're actually supposed to be because this looks like the exact same place as the last place we were. Okay, we're off to the desert again. How did it keep happening? Because everything looks the same and these transitions are terrible. So we can't tell exactly which direction we're actually pointed in, so we might be going this in the way we were going before. Where we came from, rather. Why is this wall here? I didn't. Why did I get back to this wall? How did I get back to this wall? It doesn't make any sense. This is the 3D <laughs> Here's this wall again. Darn it. Uh, I'm supposed to be somewhere around here. Backtracking is one thing. Backtracking through a maze. Ugh. I guess I'm going over here. I guess this might be the way we're supposed to go. Maybe not. Maybe this is the wrong way again. Jeez. I'm going to just turn around the circles until something looks right. See, maybe I'll go this way. I had to go to the train station the other day, and I felt exactly like this. I need to tell you, I'll just tell you. I know I've been here before, I'll tell you. This is a stupid wall again. I don't know where I'm going. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Can I figure out where I'm going? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should cut some of this out. <laughs> oh. Terrible. Like, is this like ten? This is like ten minutes doing this. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they'll see what the problem was eventually. Because I keep turning around in circles. Oh, <laughs> this doesn't seem like with the direction I'm supposed to be going. I'm supposed to be going down this way. These are all elements that make the game successful, right? <laughs> yes. In theory, I should be going in a straight line, and it shouldn't make me go around in circles. Just before we sat down today, I was talking about how the game is. There we go, we're in the right direction. Uh -huh. It was like two hours of gameplay, but like ten hours of wandering around. <laughs> really applicable, right here. <laughs> Alright, are we going this way first or that way first? Let's go this way first. So we're finally in the area where we need to be, since, uh, you know, now you can see the staircases to the places where you're actually you're supposed to be going. There's a staircase in front of you and a staircase behind you, and that makes the camera angle thing even more annoying. But one staircase is along the wall, and one staircase it's is going against the, the wall, wall. yeah, yeah. yeah okay. the wall. So you can definitely tell it's two different staircases out in this case, but you know, otherwise, there's not a lot of navigational landmarks around here. It really makes it <laughs> pain. There's that rock, there's, there's that other rock, there's bacon rock. There's carrot cake rock. All that sand everywhere. Oh, the sand. Don't get me started on the sand. And the starfish. Look at this. I know. Look at the chicken nugget up here. Green rock. <laughs> Maybe we'll eventually figure out where we're going and yeah. what we're doing. Oh, things around me of food. I don't know if there's something really funny about the game or something really sad about myself. Or you might be just be hungry. Ooh. Yeah. That might be a that might be a full thing in a couple of an hour or a half an hour maybe or something. Look, here's this guy again. Yeah, now, now that I have the rubber chicken, this guy should be easier, right? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Round 
we're taking, you're the one. And I think I need a hand crank for this, but I want to try one thing that I always tried before on this because it was really... No, no. It always seemed to make sense to me that I had this Clyde water wheel for some reason. And no, <laughs> that for some reason, I seem to vaguely hallucinate that this was this worked once. I don't know how it would work, but apparently, somehow, I hallucinated that when I was younger. Whatever. You ever played into what you dream about it? Yeah, the problem with me with that being um, when the dream goes crazy. They're just randomly flying everywhere. For no reason. And you can't control it, usually. Oh yeah. Unless you unless you don't want to control it, in which case you can't control it. But when you want to go somewhere, then you're like, ah, oh, get back here. Stupid ground. Back down the stairs. I'm sorry, I might have just zoned out. What was the purpose of going up the stairs? We were trying to um, practice jumping. That was the key. Practice jumping. I don't like being like a boy. <laughs> practice jumping. Jumping fun. Okay, so this is getting a little tricky because technically I'm not supposed to be able to do this, but I don't know where the plank is that I need for this stupid bridge. So I might as well do it this way anyway because this is how I learned how to do it in the first place. Because I got, like, I didn't even know there was a plank in the first place. Do you support wall jumping? Nope. What'd you do? Did you get the long jump suit after the hazard course? Nope. Uh, believe it or not, the secret to this, and I hopefully save you, save a game. The secret to this is cartoon physics. Watch. No, no, not that. Dude. Try that again. Have to get you. Got have to aim yourself in a straight line. Is the other problem with this? Okay. You got the straight line. Forward. Run. Run, 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 run. Jump. There we go. I was, I was off the ledge when I jumped. Oh. <laughs> it's like cartoon physics, where you... The, the trick is essentially to let your, let your guy step right off the ledge, but neatly jump right after you stopped off the ledge. Oh, because it didn't really seem not on the ledge anymore. Yep, cartoon physics. Cartoon physics. <laughs> Good thing you don't really look down in this game. Well, you would still fall down if you didn't look down, but it's just that it takes it a second to determine that you're not actually on a ledge anymore. You need to be falling. Wait. How many? This is another. Oh. What? What? How many of the. I'm gonna Oh, it's more confusing as like this is like the exact same canyon that we were just in. And there's a box somewhere that I'm looking for which I don't seem to see. Yeah, we've never left up for a Save game again. Because we managed to do one jump and kill two guys. Or maybe I just killed two guys and really not do anything with the jump. I think I made a save right after the jump, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably have to re-show it to you on the playback if it's possible. I've had I've had jumps that look more obvious that it, than that as the cartoon physics before, but as long as it works, it's what this game. 
or getting back is a little bit more of a pain. But luckily there's bread. Bread helps you get back. That's a bottle. I picked up a bottle. Tipped on the bottle and picked it up. Bottles. Okay. Here's the hand crank. Also, useful for starting some of the main machinery. Also, remember that real quick. All right. Now, figure out how to get out of this room. There's an exit here. Yeah, and most of them are actually randomly. Then promises of excitement and walking up ladders dashed. Yeah, well, that walking up ladders part would probably be key. Yes. <laughs> so it was one of standing in position and sliding up ladders? No, no, walking up ladders. Using your walking animation while you're on the ladder. I think there might be another box up here, but I can't really worry about that. We got the crank. Crank is the key. Yeah, the crank is the crank. Oh. The key is the key. Well, yeah, yeah, actually, the crank is technically a key. Don't worry, there's plenty of keys. Plenty of real keys and fake keys. And now we'll go back down the stairs and try not to fall asleep all the way down. Oh, I'm going to try this. I think I imagine playing this game. Any length of time. I would just... Believe you. Oh. Let's see. Ah. No. You can. Let's let's try to jump again. Let's see if we can do this cartoon physics thing properly. No. Oh well. I'm just gonna breathe some uh, sweet sweet sand. I think there's some bread down here again. Let me just pick up the bread and get out of here, and then maybe I can just eat the bread. This area. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sand. Sand. I actually kind of want to know what's underneath there, technically. Because there's some, like, you, you can't walk in the straight line to get out. Like, there's, like, a maze or something. Wait, what's the thing? Yeah, something about challenge, challenge, something, something, game. I don't know. Red. Rubber ticket. I think it's going to be that full of challenge, isn't it? So now we can go back to the bridge and hit the crank on the thing of a bob, and then when we get the crank, we're going to be able to go to find another box. Oh, the same as across the way over here. Yeah. Yeah. So pointless, an utterly pointless feeling like, oh, well, now we have to backtrack again. I've never wanted one. I have never wanted coffee. You are not a human being. What is the problem with the damage for tank land in the desert? They're, they're visually unappealing. So you have to have something interesting to hold them. It's, it's called creativity empathy. You don't care. It looks fine because it's a desert. All the browns may have made the, the, the desert atmosphere. No, it's authentic. Right. Atmosphere, not authentic. Atmosphere. You have to get the atmosphere right. This is a desert atmosphere. 
Everything is brown. Nothing is any other color. You have to have all the environmental sounds properly motivated. No music whatsoever because it's a desert. Nobody wants music in the desert. No music anywhere. Oh, that's not a good girl. It's mostly true. Most of these, uh... Yeah. Look, it's a lever! Now we have to do an unreasonably silly CG animation. Nope. Just the lever's moving itself. All you need to do is put it... Oh, the, the, the key was that you had to put it inside the hole. That's all that you needed to do. It is all moving itself. It's automated. It's just a key. It's not really a lever. Then anything with four cores that fit in the hole would have been suitable. I don't know. Maybe it's a technological lever. Here's a computer inside of a lever. Yeah, that's my modern ignition point. Okay. I think it's behind this. And there's there's a hole on the other side so that people can uh, close it on the way. Wait, 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 wait. In that scene, the air mess off the keys in the same. Maybe I'm persistent by... Well, you, you have to put it in to raise it or lower it. Now that we're done with it, we're done with it, and we just threw it away. It's integrated and it's gone. All right. And I think there's something over there, but I'm probably going to be... Maybe, possibly... This is what I'm going to about the... And now this guy's going to be interrupting me as I get it. Yeah, this, is, this game gets a little easier when you actually have a rubber ticket. Not that much easier, but it's still a little easier. Still can't avoid all the stupid sniper rifle fire, or not really a sniper rifle, but snipers firing at you. The absence of a ranged weapon at all. Oh, there's not a complete absence of ranged weaponry in this game for you. But right now, until you get to late in the game, you have no ranged weaponry whatsoever. We're going to run into that soon. And where is that console? Get that code. Remember that code. What, what's the code? That little color thing. Oh. Yeah. And the, the, the little thing right next to it that tells you what level it's supposed to be. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Well, we'll probably just do a video playback later and go like, hey, what's that code? That's okay. There's supposed to be a third one somewhere. I have no idea where it is right now. But this is, this is like multiple choice. If you know the two codes, you can at least just sort of guess the third code easy enough. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll probably do that in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. We'll at least visit the village first, though. We get to see all the green instead of the brown. Yeah, they really need a little music on this one. Anything. Larger sample of some variety, anyway. I need literally one second to clip of wind Oops. Holy We should watch one of those Atari Jaguar infomercial things. Later. Actually, I think that though that was one of the bad signs of uh, the Tark Jaguar. It had its own infomercial. Yeah. I don't know if that was the desert. All right, let's go back to the village.
Yeah. <laughs> 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 walked all the way back to the village. <laughs> In the countryside. Say hello to transitions. Not shy. We're back. <laughs> I missed you. Baby Blanche. Don't worry, when we go back, I think we're going to have to witness that cutscene again. The, the, him goofing off and telling you the exact same thing of what you actually need to do. Oh, look! What in blank? There is where it was. Uh, well, for, okay. You're thinking you'd be able to use that wooden plank to break something, possibly, or something. But no, you can't use it anywhere other than the bridge. It's like that, like that old adventure game logic. Like, it only has one purpose. This game does have a lot of that. This thing has only one purpose. You cannot use it for any other purpose, otherwise you fail. You cannot use it that there. Once it's done that one purpose, oh, never mind. The, the towers are all topless. I forgot about that. There's no, there's nothing on the towers. Looks like there should be watchtowers there, but there are no actual watch. Hey, Whoa. Ah, uh, you're so easy after getting the more particular. Oh, you like music? They like listen to the the, the sample. It's like somebody tried to program the Atari 2600 before and decided to drag his musical theory back from there. Yeah, turn on the radio on the way here. And there are countless songs that have just as many notes. The new favorite song. Really good job. Awesome. I just love this completely empty freaking hut. Yeah. Why did they just burn this down? There's a bunch of fun there. I didn't realize that this isn't in the top. <laughs> hey, look, it's a light bulb. Wait, how did we get out from here? <laughs> Don't worry about that. There's just somehow, some magically, there's enough lighting to make it look presentable. And they decided a light bulb was necessary to provide that lighting for them. Wow. 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 And it let them use, I think, did, did, did you see a little lens flare in there with the bulb and the... It, it does. Yeah? <laughs> There's a light bulb. <laughs> There's no ultra wires anywhere in this game. So? Never stopped anybody before. Any game. Unless you're playing, like, SimCity or something. I gotta find that room with the stupid chest in it. Let me talk a I appear to have missed something in this room. Mine? <laughs> anyway. I don't know. There it is. From that light source right behind the pole. It's like. Kind of sort of. But down this view. No? Yeah. I give up. <laughs> like the, the light source seems to be changing spots in various scenes. I give up. The light source is always off the screen. In, the, in that part. Uh, Except that one stupid little village place. It's like an Easter egg, except for nobody probably wanted to find that one. Oh, like the big. Like. See, there's a light bulb there. Oh, there's the chest. 
Oh, there's a light bulb right on top of the desk. It's a good oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. Crowbar! Only used for the crowbar. Might as well not have a crowbar after this. Look, I found a uniform! I can fool all the soldiers that. No, wait a minute, I can't actually wear it. Just for some reason again. Exactly one purpose. On top of that, why is there a stinking soldier's uniform in the village? In a locked chest. <laughs> that has no key, apparently. The key is the crowbar. <laughs> Let's break that lock. Seriously, I think I'm, I think I think I'm going to a setting where all locks have keys, but the lock and the keys are one use only. Button times. Like one use only key. All of these disposable locks and all of these disposable keys. And maybe maybe even make them interchangeable. Yeah, I played this game. <laughs> Useless. He's in luck. It opens. Oh, oh. The, the, the key would be no good after one use. Yeah. It'll be like Zelda. Like playing freaking Zelda. You grab the, the little key and it's like well, it opens one door. Doesn't matter which door it is. Crutch. One door. <laughs> And let's see if this. Yep. Here comes the cutscene. <laughs> let's skip that. It's, haven't we seen that before? <laughs> We've seen that before. Don't worry. This will take a while. Going back to where we should be. Nothing else to do. There's nothing else to hear. You might want to fast forward through this part. <laughs> We're just going to keep going and going and going and going. Hopefully, we don't get lost this time. Oh, God. There's a staircase. I just... Oh, right! I think I really just want to put that plank in its place. This is the only going to be the only interesting thing about this this trip back. Eh. Yeah. Right. Oh, yes. CG animation. <laughs> and now there is a plank in there. And if you can bounce perfectly on that plank, you can just walk. Cross instead of jump. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I don't need to go there anyway. Okay. But this at least shows people what they actually could do instead of trying to do what I do, which I don't know. I just keep doing random things that sort of work sometimes for some reason that don't make any sense, but they work anyway. It's almost like it, it doesn't really have that adventure game restriction except for the fact that it still does because any actual objects still only work in one spot. I just have the ability to jump that gap that apparently doesn't seem like it should be jumpable according to all the ways that it's made. Maybe that's just... screwing around and finding random things in games that make no sense. No, no, just specifically jumping over that one part, that bridge. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. I'll I'll I'll, I'll figure the other things out later. Hey, wait, wait, what? Save game. There we go. 
that the leak game is awfully too close to the save game, Peter. Why are we back here again? Oh. Let's try going in the direction we're supposed to be going. This time. So tedious. Around and around and around we go. That's the camera angle wouldn't change, I'd figure out where I was going a little faster. I was kind of like many of the guys that it's the non is the whole arm I just want to post. Now we get to go through, I think this is the, the sniper canyon again. I wonder if deserts have a Facebook page. So I can like go there and write something really incendiary. Dislike. Dislike. Desert suck. Yeah, I think this is the canyon, and that means I have to shoot in front. One time I jumped close in the cloud, explored the desert, and it was the most fruitless experience ever. Corns. There we go. Yeah, yeah we see the snipers yeah. again. Jerks. You, you see the guy on the top ledge too, right? I see one guy. Uh, there's another guy up there. At, up there. Oh, there's a yeah, There's two snipers. Oh, you don't only really see one, but... And I think you might be actually technically be able to kill him, but you have to go in late in the game, grab a ranged weapon, and then come back here, and then... And never mind. <laughs> because traveling in this game is just as exciting as it's because <laughs> after having to go back and getting that, that suit and the blank and stuff, like, I would want to have to do that ever again. Even with the presence of, like, Secret Cave for transportational purposes. You have to get to the Secret Cave first. I, exactly. <laughs> Which is right there in the stupid sniper room. That sniper alley or whatever you want to call that. Bread. We're gonna eventually start digressing and getting off topic. Stop. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, I started thinking about Sherlock from the BBC. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Remember, can't wait. Well, particularly with you, there was a uh, scene in Sherlock on the BBC of, like, third series first episode, I think that's the one, where apparently Sherlock's parents want to go see Les Mis. Okay. And Mycroft, which is Sherlock's brother, has to go with him, with them. But apparently both Sherlock and Mycroft have a, like some sort of agonizing disdain for this play. So they keep trying to convince each other to go with their parents to the Les Mis. And he actually gets a phone call. And in the phone call, you can hear, can you hear the people say, hey. <laughs> Oh, the thing. <laughs> While he's saying, Please save me, save me. Tell me here is that I'm Sherlock. Yeah. Um, Mycroft is the. Um, I want to call him. Basically, there's like they're both brothers and like they're both geniuses. But Sherlock wants to be on the streets, and Mycroft doesn't mind being in the government. And by being... and now, can you remember what the code is? <laughs> Remember what this code was? I think it's one one and something. And the great thing is that we had like red and green, but no blue. And I think blue should be somewhere around here, but I have no idea where it is. But it doesn't matter because I mean, I, I, in theory, I should be able to actually just look at this this console because I think this console should be the one that actually has the 
code on it, but heck if I can ever see anything on that console. Like, is there a code on there? I don't see anything. It just keeps doing this angle, and this doesn't show anything. Look at my belt buckle! <laughs> Your amazing status test. All right, now it's going to have to take the time to load the thing again, and let's try it again. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe this will work. Yes. Just says there's no feedback when you get it wrong. <laughs> and you just keep sitting there wondering, what? Did I get it wrong? Yeah. Well, I think technically four if you count zero. This is one, zero, one, two, and three is what I call them. So there's nothing stopping you from just guessing. Yeah. Well, the, 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 what's stopping me is the fact that it takes such a freaking long time to load the stupid screen in the first place that I, I feel like I just want to exit out the building. And not deal with that puzzle. <laughs> Can I find a way around this gate? Wow, I don't even wonder if it doesn't come on. Because that's my favorite part of this game. I don't know if I made that clear yet. Is there anything in here again? There should be a code somewhere around here. Yep. I, I still have the crowbar for some reason. I don't think I ever have any place where I can use it otherwise, though. Let me see if I can disguise myself and get... Nope. <laughs> Somebody open the door. I'm stuck over here. They're all dead. Somebody open the door. <laughs> it, the, the, cost, the armor is not actually armor. It's just a key. Just like the crowbar is just a key. Just yeah. like the wooden stick is just a key. <laughs> I understand that logically, like, game world, but I don't really know how to know if this is going to be even more hilarious when we actually get there, because it's, um, they're, you're, like, going to wander in in armor, and they're not going to notice until you suddenly have control of the game again. <laughs> Oh, and then they're like, wow, you uh, need to get stabbed over and over again. One, one, one. Does that work? No? No, no probably not. No. I hope you understand the disdain of this particular button puzzle, because this was probably where I got stuck when I was little. I had all the patience in the world for every other part of the game, but I couldn't figure out what levels were actually what there on those stupid things because they don't really tell you which levels are what on those stupid little screens that they give you the code for anyway. So is that a zero or a one? If it's a one, then I don't. Then it's one. If it's a zero, it's another. But I'm just saying, keep trying. Don't worry, we're gonna just stare at the screen for a while and hopefully it goes away. Does it mean you win? No. It means that we're gonna stare at the screen for a while. No. This is me thinking that maybe I could figure out if. Maybe there's a way for me to cheat the way around this, but then I don't really feel like it. Because then you have to go back to the sniper range and probably end up just getting screwed over somehow because this game doesn't like you go ahead, jumping ahead too far. Because you don't know which this thing the picture goes to what, unfortunately. So let's just uh, stare at this picture for a while. Yay. This is pretty much what you're going to be staring at for a couple more minutes, I think. I just think it doesn't look like 
It has blue and brown still. Right. You can see out to the desert slightly. The sweet, sweet baking corn. Carrot cake, candy cane mountains in the desert. And we will eventually stop here. I will probably try this at least once more, but maybe not. I think we're just going to save this here, and we might have to cut some of this out. Uh, but we cut a lot of this out. All of this part of the stuff right there. Because I don't see we're not doing anything useful. Hurry. Hurry. The end. Everybody go home, have a beer, play this game.